is Saturday, August 31st, and I want to do a little day of my life. I'm going to a concert tonight. I'm going to see Mitski. And I'm going alone, so I feel like if I vlog, I'll feel less lonely about doing that by myself. Um, and then I'm going to babysit at like noon today. Probably go to the gym, work out, just have a little day. So I was like, let me just vlog it because it sounds like a fun time. So yeah, it's currently like 10 o'clock. I'm going to make some coffee really quick. Probably watch a little YouTube and then eat something and then leave to go babysit. So my sister and I have actually been making these at-home lattes with this instant espresso kind of stuff. And they're actually really good. We really honestly need to buy an espresso maker, but like nobody in my family feels like doing that. Like I'll show you how we make it. Also, I hope you guys enjoy my <laughs> giant sweatshirt I cut the neck off of. This is literally from like Walmart and we got it at my family reunion last year in Ohio. Camo tie-dye. It's like really something different for me, but I don't know. I kind of like it. Like it's really cozy, really comfy. You get the tiniest amount of water and then you put it in the microwave for like literally 30 seconds. I'm just clicking the minute button, but like only 30 seconds. You see it? We don't have an ice maker, so we've been getting ice from Starbucks and freezing it and using that. The trenches. We need a new foot. Put the espresso in here. So I'm gonna put two scoops, and I also put the water in for a minute, so it's really hot. Two scoops in here. So I do some cinnamon, and then I do vanilla syrup. And then when I get my little frother, it doesn't really work. Now I'm gonna get my favorite cup. This is from my favorite surf shop in Ocean City. It's called Malibu's. It's like a little, it's so cute. I don't know, I love monkeys. So it's like my favorite glass to use at home. Uh, Lapia Farms, vanilla oat milk. It's the barista blend. I'm not like dairy free or anything like that, but I just prefer the way that this tastes. I never really liked milk. Y'all just do about that much. Pour in your espresso. My straw. Very good mix. Ooh, that's really good. Ran downstairs to my room because I forgot my water. I really do try to drink a bunch of water before I drink my coffee of the day, but I genuinely just forgot because I was looking forward to my coffee so much, so I'm gonna fill this up with water. She's not even supposed to be on the couch, but she's get, she's a mood. I just watched like a video or two. It's like 11, 14. I need to leave here in like 30 minutes. So I'm making a little bagel for breakfast. Everything bagel, it's toasting right now. And then I'm watching Anna Hyde's video right now. My sister works at the bagel shop that I used to work at. So she brings us home bagels every week. Can't even lie, they're honestly so good. We have to keep them in these bags so they stay fresh, but they're really good. Guys, here's my really good and fun and fresh pajamas. Now we're gonna change and get ready. The fit that I have on isn't anything special. I didn't do any makeup or anything because I'm planning on when I get there at noon, I'm gonna go take the baby for a walk. And so like, I don't wanna wear something cute and get all sweaty in it. Also, it's the first game day for UMD and I think most of college football. So I'm wearing one of my UMD shirts. I'm excited. I'm listening to this, trying to get in the mood for later tonight. Okay, so we just got back from the park. The baby is napping right now and the older two boys just left to go to, they have like baseball practice and stuff. So I'm literally just sitting here watching the game. Um, and then I'm trying to think about what I wanna wear to the concert later. I have like an idea, but I don't know exactly what I wanna do yet, but. Guys, I'm actually really sad. I miss game days so bad. If you didn't know, I used to go to UMD. I graduated in 2023. And like Saturday game days were probably my favorite part of my college experience. And like, I don't really care about sports like that. Like my parents are super into sports. I've never really cared, but it wasn't until I went to college and like went to games. that I was like, wait, this is actually fun. Do I know anything about football? Not at all, but I still enjoy watching the game. So I have it on in the living room now because um, the baby's still sleeping, but we're winning, which is good, so. All right, let's go play. Okay. Come on, yay. Okay, so I just got home. I made a really random wrap with some Cheeto puffs, but don't worry, I have my nectarine. So we're getting all the food groups in for sure.
mom and I are gonna go on a walk and do a little workout. And then I'm gonna come back and then get ready for the concert. All right, it's about 5.08 now. We're probably gonna walk for another 30 minutes and then I'm probably gonna go home, shower and get ready. But I love on the track, they just redid it. This is actually like my old middle school <laughs> where we usually take our walks at. Um, but they just redid the track and I literally have like PTSD from running the mile in this track, but like now they redid it so it's not as triggering, but it's just like funny. I'm also listening to Mitski right now. I found the concert set list on some website so i'm listening to it now because i know most of her songs but there's some that i've never heard before i'm a little bit nervous going by myself but also like it's a good challenge for myself to go so fingers crossed hoping for the best all right guys so i just got out the shower it is like 608 my hair's in this like floppy bun because I need my hair to my face. I just took the most refreshing shower, guys. I feel amazing, okay? Um, we're gonna do some makeup. Honestly, this concert, one is at night, two, I'm going by myself. It doesn't have to like give service lay too hard, okay? Because respectfully, I don't even know anybody going. Keep the makeup and everything pretty simple. I genuinely just enjoy getting dressed up and getting ready. So don't mind all my bags back there. I need to think of a better way to organize all of my bags because I feel like that is just giving like messy to figure out a better system of organizing my stuff because fun fact if you guys didn't know i live in the basement of my house so i don't have a closet i don't have a window so i really have to make the best of my space in a way that makes sense currently what time is it where's my watch 6 13 i want to be leaving by 7 so that gives me a little bit more than 45 minutes which honestly since my hair is in braids all the thing that takes me longest is makeup and i'm really guys i'm really just hoping that the outfit that i have pictured is going to look good and make sense because if not then i have no idea what i'm wearing which could ruin my get ready time i'm gonna wear my platform doc martens my jadens which i always wear those boots to concerts they're just like my go-to concert boot and then i'm gonna wear like a harley davidson crop tank top and i feel like it's gonna be like perfect hopefully because if not i mean at this point i don't have time to find something else so i love this elf primer it makes my like skin so like sticky but like in a good way the place i'm going it's called meriwether post pavilion it's in columbia maryland but it's like outdoors so i have to make sure that this makeup ain't going nowhere because it is so humid in maryland today i don't know how it's not like raining it the sky all day has been literally like gray i'm also really curious as like what the audience is gonna be like for mitski because none of my close friends really listen to her and i don't really know like too too many people that would listen to her enough to like go see her. I feel like I'm the only person that I know that listens to her. So I'm like really curious. Is it gonna be like an older crowd? I hope it's not gonna be a bunch of like annoying bratty TikTok 13 year olds, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be like an older crowd. All right guys, so I just got to where the concert is. And of course on the way here, it starts pouring rain. I don't have an umbrella, I don't have anything. So we're just gonna have to go for it. Um, But yeah, I made it to the right parking place. So that's good. And we're just gonna walk into the concert. Currently, 7.41, the opener starts at eight. However, I've already seen the opener literally twice, so I don't really care to see them. But yeah, I'm hopefully, I can get some merch. I'm not sure though. I don't really know what her merch looks like. I don't really like, I'm not too pressed about that part. And this is the parking lot and let us park in. Kind of sus, but whatever. these random girls to take a picture of me and they did a terrible job but it's the thought that counts you know guys mm -hmm. mitski she was incredible she was so much fun to watch she was definitely a little weird but i feel like that's kind of the vibe you expect when you 
you go to see somebody like that, which is very creative. It was really cool. I'm so glad I was able to go and that I only paid $34. Like, you can't beat that. Well guys, I made the mistake of mentioning to my family that I might get food on the way home and now I'm picking up McDonald's for the entire family. So, I just really want some like chicken nuggets. That's what I really want because I'm starving and I don't want to pay like $20 for chicken tenders at the venue. Oh my gosh, the eyeshadow looks so good right now. It's a shame I have to take all this off, but I can't go to church with all this going on. Um, but yeah, now we're waiting in line. Um, and this is like the only McDonald's in the area, so I'll probably be here for like 20 minutes, so. Yeah, just having so much fun. Look at all this food I had to bring home. That is crazy. That is crazy. Hello everyone. I just wanted to come out here and do a little outro because I never actually finished the vlog. I was exhausted by the time I came home and all I wanted to do was eat my chicken nuggets and go to bed. But thank you so much for watching if you made it to this point. Um, I really wanted to vlog this day because I was really facing my fears and like facing my social anxiety and just like going to a concert by myself. It's really hard being single like in your early 20s because I feel like everybody I know is like in relationships if they're not married or engaged. So it's just like hard when you want to do stuff kind of spontaneously and like people are just in a different phase of life. So I wanted to challenge myself and be like, you know what, like, let me just go by myself. I can do it. I can be independent and it was close enough to home where I was like, I'm not going to get like murdered or anything or kidnapped. So I don't know. I'm just really proud of myself because I was definitely very anxious the whole time. But honestly, I am such a big music person. I was like, I have to see her while she's here so close to me. So I'm really happy that I did it. But yeah, I have some more fun videos planned for you guys. I'm really getting back into my YouTube era. I know I keep saying that every like three months, but I really am now. I'm feeling really motivated, really inspired. So make sure if you're not subscribed already, you subscribe and follow me on other social medias. And yeah, I'm just really excited. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So I'll see you next time. Bye.